Welcome to another day of confinement on Kiapanui. And today, I get to do more sanding, but it's outside. And I get to use the Dremel. Woohoo! All right, this is what we're working on. There is a crack. And not sure if it's just paint or if it actually went through the fillet or into the fillet. So let's find out. Okay, now all the paint is gone and we can take a better look to see what is actually going on here. And there you have it. Oh, and look, <laughs> there's a stingray. Hello. <laughs> you gotta take it all the way down. All the way down. Yep. Um, so how- So far you're doing a good job. So take it down until I do not see the crack anymore. Yeah, but you're, it's gonna be all the way. I mean, this, this crack goes all the way. So the main thing is you gotta also be careful not to cut in, because this is glassed. Okay. Right, so don't take away any of the glass on Got this. Got it. Basically, you're, you're mainly trying to take down the crack itself and then a little bit the fillet where it goes into the pole. It's just gonna be a mechanical bond. Really not gonna be as strong as the original, but it should be much stronger than it is now. You get the idea? done with the sanding piece on this post and it's ready to have a fillet remade and then painted. I think I did a pretty good job. Yo soy profesional. We are coming back to the stairs that I sanded and prepped so that Ryan could throw on the epoxy, beef them up. Here's a challenge for you. What do you think? Here are the stairs. It's probably 12 feet. So if Ryan is doing the epoxy work on these three steps, how the heck is he gonna get out? I can't lift him. Have some halyards, cause the mast is right here. Spinnaker halyard here, which actually would go kind of in line and not chafe. Cause that's one thing that we have to watch out for is that you're not actually creating chafe and then making it worse and chafing through the line. We do have our climbing harness. I don't know. We're gonna have to figure this out before he does his epoxy work. We have to figure out how is he gonna get out or should he just do one step at a time? I don't know, we haven't decided yet. What do you think? 